Welcome back to building the Lego structures, houses, and creatures. Where this is an assembly project. We've got some new tools we're going to play with today. One of those is going to be the IPJ. When we open Inventor this time, instead of going to the desktop screen like we had before, we're going to go and open our Lego construction IPJ file. By double clicking on that file, Inventor will open up for us just like normal. And it will allow us the opportunity to keep all of our stuff organized together. It takes a few moments for Inventor to load, so be patient. Cut this part out, Jimmy. Cut. Cut, 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 cut. All right, now Inventor is open. You'll, you'll, you should be able to see under Projects that Lego Construction is our active project, so we're in good shape. This is a brand new thing called an assembly. We have never done one of these before, so we're going to do one now. Assemblies are right here. Click Assembly, and we're going to create a new environment where we can build multiple part projects. We're going to bring our first part into the assembly by going up and choosing place from the menu. And we're going to bring in our two bump Lego. It's going to pop up here in this big screen. We're going to right click and we're going to choose place grounded at origin. By bringing the, the first part in, place grounded at origin. You can see we now have a we now have a part that does not move around. We want to place additional parts. We can do so. And if we just move it around and then click. This part does move around. So now we have a grounded part and an ungrounded part. 